Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I am Christopher, and today I decided to make a video on how to install custom themes onto your Nintendo Switch. This is a pretty simple tutorial, and I know there's countless videos on here that show how to install themes on your Nintendo Switch already, but I've noticed that most of them usually only focus on one way on how to do it. So in this video, I decided to showcase alternative methods on how to install themes on your Nintendo Switch in case one of them doesn't work for you. As always, in order to do this tutorial, you're going to need a modded Nintendo Switch. And if you haven't done that yet, I recommend watching my other video, How to Mod Your Nintendo Switch. There's no need in worrying about breaking your Nintendo Switch, because this is a very safe mod to do. So with all that said, let's begin this tutorial. So to begin this tutorial, we're going to need to download NX Theme Installer. So we'll need to go to the first link I provide down below in the description and install the latest version, which at the time is 2.7.1. And we're going to select the nxtheminstaller.nro under the Assets tab. It's a small file, so it should download pretty quickly. Once we downloaded that, we will go to our next link and download themeser-nx. So again, we're going to go under the Assets tab and download themeser-nx.nro. Once we have those files downloaded, we're going to open up our SD card and Downloads folder. And in the root of our SD card, we're going to open up the Switch folder and drag our downloaded NRO files into the Switch folder. Even though we have the Themeser NRO on our SD card, we could also access their website on our computer to download any themes while we're here. So let's go to themeser.net and download a theme pack. Once here at the top left, we can see their recent additions, the type of theme packs they have, or individual themes for different sections of your Nintendo Switch. So if you want to make your own quote unquote pack, you can download individual themes for your home menu, lock screen, apps, settings, etc. Then they also have a layout section, but I'm not too familiar with that to be honest. So for this tutorial, we're just going to download a preset pack. So my fiance switch is kind of my guinea pig for every modification I attempt to make. So we'll be using hers for this demonstration. She loves pastel, so we're going to select the packs tab and search pastel. She loved the Purple Skies animated by H. Sushi, so we're going to download this pastel pack. We will select the pack and select the download button. Now that we have our themes downloaded, we're going to go back into the root of our SD card and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to title it Themes. Then we're going to go inside that folder and we're going to go to our download and we can drag and drop these files into the folder if we'd like or you can create a subfolder to be more organized. Then we can drag the files into that subfolder. Now we can go back and safely eject our SD card. And now we're going to inject our switch. And if you're not too sure on how to do that, you can always check back to my how to mod your Nintendo Switch video to learn how. Now that we injected our Switch, we can go to our home menu and we're going to open up a game title while holding down the R button. It'll load the game, but keep holding down the R button and it'll bring us to our mod menu. So we're going to scroll all the way down to NX Theme Installer. Then we're going to select it. And you don't have to read all this, so just select OK and keep pressing OK till we get to the menu. And now you can see we have our themes downloaded. So we're going to select them and press Y to multi-select and highlight all of them. Then press A to install. Then we will scroll down to reboot and reboot our Switch. And as you can see, we now have a custom theme for a Nintendo Switch. Now this is just one way to get a theme on your Switch. I'm going to show you another way in case you don't have a computer, but you already have a modded Switch. Another alternative is using the Homebrew app. So we'll go to our mods and we'll go to the Homebrew App Store. And then we're going to search for NX Installer. So we're going to go to the Search tab and we're going to type NXT. And as you can see, it showed up right there. So we're going to select the app and then we're going to install it. And as you can see, Themeser is right underneath it. So we're going to download that as well. Once both apps are downloaded, we can go back to the home menu and open up our mods again. 
Now, if we scroll all the way down, we can see we have the apps we just downloaded on our app page. So let's open up Themeser and search for a theme. So we're going to press Y to search for a theme. Again, we're going to search for a pastel theme since this is for my fiance. Once we have what we're looking for in the search, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and select apply. And again, we're going to select Purple Skies Animated by H Sushi. So we're going to have to download each theme individually. I'm not sure if there's like a way to download all of them at once, but if you can, let me know in the comments down below. Once we've downloaded all our themes, we'll go back to our home screen and repeat the process of loading a game title while holding down the R button. And again, we're going to go to NX Theme Installer, and we're going to ignore all that and keep pressing OK again. Now we will have to install the themes again, the same way we did last time, and then reboot. And bam! Now we have the themes installed using just our Nintendo Switch. So, let's just say, hey, you know what? I'm tired of this theme. I want to install another. Well, don't worry. I got you. I'm going to show you how to remove a theme and install a new one. So, let's just open up NX Theme Installer and let's search for a new theme. But, this time, instead of using theme themeser, we're going to use the NX Theme Installer download section. So, we're going to go to the download themes section and we're going to select themeser.net and we're going to input a text and we're going to search for a Zelda theme because we want a different theme this time. So then we're going to select search and it's going to give us a list of themes we can download. We're going to select none because we don't want to download all of them. We're just going to download the one that we want and we're going to download this one because it's simple and clean. So we're going to select it, then we're going to press B to get out of this little section here, and we're going to select download. Once it's downloaded, it'll be saved to our themes folder. So before we install this theme, we're going to go to the uninstall theme section, and we're going to uninstall everything. Once it's done, it's going to let us know that it's done, and that we have to restart the console for the effects to take place. So we're going to reboot our console and we're going to go back into the NX theme installer. So I'm just going to skip there. All right. Now that we're back, we're going to go to themes, downloads and group one. So I'm going to install it and I'm going to reboot the console. And now we have a new theme that's not the purple pink skies. And that's how you install themes onto your Nintendo Switch. I hope this video helped you guys out and you're able to pimp out your Switch to your liking. If it has helped you out, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching my video. And as always, take it easy. <laughs>